What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In previous videos, we've discussed a new project vehicle. It is a 1998 Toyota 4Runner. We're going to check it out. In the meantime, if you like what you see, make sure you hit that like button. Let's get to it. Okay, here we are in the front of the vehicle. Um, this is really the first time I've had a chance to look at it since we've bought it. Uh, we just had to jump this vehicle to get it into place. So I know something is wrong with the battery or the cables. I don't know. That'll be another video. But as you can see, as I can see, just looking around, things to point out. Uh, one thing that stands out is this headliner. I think at some point somebody tried to glue this visor up with something. Anyways, in the meantime, it totally destroyed both things. I think with this headliner, we could do a cool video on how to replace or re, uh, reupholster a headliner. So that could be cool for this video. We'll try and salvage as much as we can on this car. There's definitely some parts that are going to need to be bought brand new. Um, as you know, again, looking around the center console top, this will need to be replaced. It's pretty banged up. Looks like just from heat not being treated. Uh, everything's pretty dusty, pretty dirty, but all the parts are here, which is awesome. Um, if we put the key in, everything turns on. I'll try the uh, radio. Uh, and the radio doesn't turn on, so that'll be a different video that we do. There's tons of content in here, which is awesome for this. Um, we could test everything else, like the heater, the AC, everything blows, so that's good. Uh, the air is actually cold already, awesome. So that's something that we can do a recharge on the AC, but uh, I don't think we need to replace it at this point. It's not sounding weird. What else? If we look around, everything is pretty dirty. Uh, so it could just use a general clean as you can see all of these uh, Seats in here are pretty banged up. I don't know the the foam in them feels good Usually you can just recoat or recover these uh, So we'll see we'll strip all this carpet off of these seats and how you know see how good they actually are underneath We come down here and start looking at plastic pieces um, <laughs> There's some that are broken some that are just missing screws. I'm sure somebody's taking this apart at some point. But what I plan to do is actually strip out all of this stuff completely out of this car, clean it, and see what needs to be replaced. Uh, the actual carpet in the vehicle is pretty dirty. Uh, you can clean it, but it might be cheaper on this vehicle just to replace it. And if I start to look up, put my keys in, try the sunroof. I can hear the motor wanting to work. <laughs> but I don't think this is gonna work so we'll need to figure out a way to fix this so that'll be another video a lot of times the cables on these motors just get old uh, they don't get maintenance so they're probably seized up uh, this will be a good video too uh, but with that we'll move to the back of the car and check out everything back here okay here we are in the back of the vehicle and as I look around I can see some just minor damage to this door panel so that could be a video where we actually replace this vinyl cover on this door and just do a general clean on it or we might have to actually replace this whole door panel um, the seats and the carpet definitely have seen some wear and tear they're fairly dirty uh, good idea for a video is maybe replace this carpet or actually put in a cool spray on liner if this turns into a surf vehicle that'll be nice because then we can wash it out but carpet is just pretty gross in this vehicle actually so taking this out is going to be a good idea um, other things I can see, we're going to need a new seat belt. This is not safe, so that'll be one of the first things that we replace on this. Um, we're also missing the headrest, so I'm going to need new headrest for this back seat. Again, what I'll probably do is strip off all of the cloth on these seats and actually see how well uh, the foam looks underneath and if we can just recover these or if we're going to need new seats in entirety. If I fold it forward, you can see it's, it's pretty pretty falling apart kind of it's seen better days so these definitely are going to need some attention again another video this will be part of what we completely take out of the vehicle when we strip the interior and if i look at the headliner it's seen a lot of wear and tear and we can again pull off this carpet and just re-carpet this thing so that's pretty easy fix uh, but yeah looking around we'll move to the very very back of the vehicle and see what it looks like in the hatch area Okay, let's open this hatch and see what's inside. <laughs> it's a slow opening hatch. Great content. This vehicle is awesome for this, this channel. We're going to have so much fun stuff to do. 
Uh, so as I look inside the back here, um, the carpet, it's always carpet. The carpet again is worn down. It's pretty gross. It feels gross. Uh, I'm going to get rid of it <laughs> after looking back here. That's my decision. We're getting rid of this. There's no fixing it. Uh, but this area is going to be used for surfing. It's going to be used for wetsuits. So we'll have to figure out something cool and fun to do. Um, as we move this towards becoming a surf vehicle, the spray on spray on liner sounds like a good idea right now. I think it's going to cover up everything. It's supposed to help deaden the sound. But yeah, it's all the parts are here, which I'm happy about. All the plastics are here. There's nothing broken. So all in all, other than just being dirty and needing some serious cleaning, the interior of this vehicle is great for what we pay. I think we pay 2000 bucks for this thing. It's, it's amazing. Um, <laughs> super excited. Let's, uh, let's continue on the review of this vehicle and show you guys the rest of it. Uh, as I look up, there's another thing you can fix this plastic piece. This is one of the few first plastic pieces I've seen that's broken. So we can either plastic weld, great, again, another video, awesome. But let's check out the exterior of this thing. Okay, looking at the exterior of this thing, it is in great shape for a $2,000 vehicle. There's no rust on it, the body is straight. Uh, as you can see, typical for older vehicles in the sunshine, that somebody hadn't waxed this, so the clear coat is starting to fall off. That's what happens right there when you don't wax your vehicles. Uh, it's got an awesome roof rack on it, so we'll be able to put our surfboards on this at some point take those around with us but as we look down towards the bottom of the vehicle it's got nice chrome bumpers on it they look to be in good shape we'll check out the back here in a second um, this is the first thing that I see that I don't like is somebody took black spray paint and spray painted these alloy rims black so the paint's already falling off so we'll do a cool video on how to remove spray paint from rims if I look at the tires they are in decent shape I've noticed that the two back tires are different than the two front tires so at some point we'll buy all four tires that match. But continuing on around the vehicle, again, the body's in great shape. If we look at the sunroof though, it's sunken. <laughs> so sunroofs are not supposed to look like this. Again, as we were saying in the inside of the vehicle, this will be something that would we'll fix uh, and make new again. So that'll be an upcoming video here in the future. From the front of this vehicle, the antenna is missing, not only to be replaced and looking at this front fender, um, Generally, scotch tape is not normal on a vehicle. I don't like the idea, so something's wrong here. It looks like there's some damage to this fender. This will need to be replaced. Uh, you can pop these dents out, but with these old fenders, they're very cheap to find. You can find them for about 50 bucks. Uh, this bumper used to be chrome. Uh, at some point, somebody painted it black, so you can either take this paint off for about 10 bucks, or you can put a brand new bumper on for 100 bucks to 120 bucks. It's pretty cheap, but if you're looking to save money, 10 bucks will get all that paint off. Uh, if I look at these rims, they're also painted black, so we don't want that. We'll take all that paint off of here. And we'll continue around the very front of this vehicle. Uh, the bumper, the grill, everything is intact. This is great, nothing's been smashed. It's all here, the lights are all here. So, good stuff. These are a little bit oxidized. We can take this off so they're clear again. The paint on the hood, same, showing the same kind of wear and tear that the top of the vehicle is showing as this gets all the sunshine and it can tell nobody's put any wax on this just because you start to see this where it hasn't really been taken care of coming around the driver's side of the vehicle however uh this side is very straight it looks really good the paint is starting to show some cracks and fractures uh we might repaint this i don't know something cool could go on here we could paint the same color i kind of like this green on these old vehicles um but that's that's for another day from the driver's side of the vehicle looking at the windshield it's in perfect condition there's no cracks no chips but if i look at the driver's side mirror however it has been fixed it's been damaged got a little electrical tape on there no big deal 35 bucks to fix this guy it's super cheap uh the paint scratches clear coats falling off we are missing one piece right here which is actually broken off of this window channel these are easy to come by and find and replace but all in all, this side of the vehicle looks awesome. There's one little tiny dent right here, uh, but not much to talk about. It looks good. So we'll move to the back and see what that looks like. The back of this vehicle is more of the same. A lot of paint oxidization just from sitting in the sunshine too long and not having any wax on it. Uh, there is very minor damage to this thing. If we look at the bumper, there's only a few spots where it's actually been bumped into. Again, if we want to replace this, it's pretty cheap. It's only a hundred bucks or so. But for the most part, everything is in great shape. It's all here. 
Now this is going to be an awesome project vehicle for the channel. Let's take a look at the engine bay though and see what it looks like in there. I haven't taken a look at it yet. Looking at the engine bay now, I just popped the hood for the first time and right here will be one of the first things that we fix. You can see somebody put twine around this battery and it had actually fallen and was resting against the alternator. Uh, the terminals, negative looks fine, but it tweaked the, the uh, positive terminal as well. So it's, that's gonna be something we replace right away just out of safety. And uh, you see these repairs on old vehicles a lot. No big deal, it probably did the job for the time being, but yeah, not very safe. So we'll get a battery tied down and get this thing safe by the end of the day today. The rest of the engine, however, other than just being dusty and dirty, looks awesome. It looks like somebody put some maintenance on this thing. It looked like at some point they put new spark plug cables in here. Maybe they put new spark plugs in here, I don't know. Uh, on this vehicle, one of the first things that we're, we're gonna do on these is replace all the fluids. Cause I don't know maintenance wise, if it was kept up, how it was kept up. We'll do a really cool video on how to clean your engine. So it'll be some good before and after photos of this thing. Uh, a clean engine is a healthy engine. But <laughs> other than that, uh, I'm excited. There's a lot of good stuff in here to look at, to replace. Um, just driving it the little bit that we did. Uh, the power steering pump makes noise. So maybe a first project, I don't know. Maybe it's just the fluid, maybe it's the pump. Who knows, it's all good stuff. So I'm super excited about this vehicle. I know you guys can tell there is so much potential with this thing, but the coolest part is $2,000. And you know who found this? My wife. She is amazing at finding deals. And so my goal is to have her on an upcoming episode where she can tell you guys how to find an amazing deal just like this. If you guys are enjoying this content, remember to hit like, hit subscribe. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.